Sup peeps, Crypto Enigma here. Thank you for tuning back in. Now in this video, I figured I would progress on my island. I figured I would give you guys a more uh, in-depth tour of my soon-to-be five-star island. And also, while I'm doing that, I figured I would go over some things that I forgot to mention in my last video in which I make a case for time traveling and why it's it's completely okay to do it. Not only that, but why again it should be accepted within the community and why it's ultimately a, a, just a completely relevant issue. Now, before I get off into all of that, I want to go ahead and fix up this little shitty corner I have here. The idea is that I want the front of this shop here to basically be an extension of the plaza. I want some kind of like outside lounge area for any potential customers or whatever. You know how it is. Basically, like some of the inspiration is like some kind of uh, like the, some kind of promenade in a mall or some shit, you know. So anyways, let me expand this walkway real quick every time I go through it. I keep stepping over the flowers right next to the uh, the little exit here. With that done, I'm gonna go ahead and continue working on this little outdoor plaza here. And the look I'm basically going for is is well like a beachside fucking store. If that wasn't already obvious, I'm gonna go ahead and build a little a little. I'm gonna go ahead and build a fucking wall on the west side of this little area here and again the look i'm basically going for is you know how like next to the beach or rather at the beach or the fucking beach is divided by by these like some these concrete dividers and it separates the parking lot and like certain shops and shit from the beach that's basically what i'm doing here now that i have my little divider here complete I'm gonna go ahead and finish this tiled floor and I I absolutely hate this I'm absolutely hating how this is turning out so far in fact I hate pretty much every custom tile that I have throughout my island which brings me to a very important point that I want to make and that being that I, I kind of don't like how all of the really cool stuff all of the all of the all of the main features the terraforming all of the all of the cool different pathways that you're given in this game you basically have to unlock until what is essentially the end of the game you basically have to beat the game first before you um, get all of these cool features now don't get me wrong of course we all know that when it comes to animal crossing uh, one does not simply beat the game i'm not saying you're done with the game once you get kk slider to visit However, I do feel like it would have just made more sense for players to have been allowed uh, to utilize these features from the beginning of the game and, you know, allowing us to progress through the game, implementing these features versus uh, having us make what some consider significant progress in our islands only to then essentially force us to redesign everything and basically, uh, you know, just erase all of our all, all of our effort. Or at least that's how I feel about it anyway. But I digress. Now, as soon as I get these tables centered, I'm <laughs> like right now, I'm going to very quickly add the chairs to them. And see, I don't want it cluttered. I want I want people to be able to access the store uh, quite easily. And the reason being, or in fact, the reason why I'm going to have a lounge in the front of the store to begin with is because I am going to be hosting visitors quite often. Since on my island, I will very often be having a high turn up selling prices and of course you know that i don't wait for no bullshit stock prices uh you know the good ones to be ready to to appear on my fucking island um it is something i enjoy doing you know and it helps out the community god damn boy look at that seven mil in the bank this is why i don't i, I don't just, it, look it's just fun to me okay seven million in the fucking bank i can just do whatever the fuck i want on my island that's why i do it I also, you know, time travel and I look for the highest prices so people can come on my island and we can just share money, you know, this, this is what it's about. This is what it's fucking about. But anyway, uh, what the fuck was I saying? Oh yeah, so I'm designing a lounge outside of the uh, Nook shop so, you know, any, any potential customers can just kind of chill outside and, and converse with one another while other customers are in the store selling the turnips. Now, 
I'm almost done with my little lounge area here. I just need one final feature and the chairs I just ordered will be arriving tomorrow, uh, which of course means in just a few minutes here on my channel. But anyway, I want to now take a quick minute to further emphasize a point that I made in my previous video regarding the claim that time travelers can actually, um, you know, ruin their experience with the game by progressing through the game too quickly. And what I meant to say, or rather what I meant to point out in my previous video was that I, as a time traveler, have made relatively small progress in my game despite me time traveling and I mentioned that to say this. Part of the reason why I'm making this particular video here is precisely to demonstrate the fact that the pace in which an individual progresses through the game genuinely does depend on the individual. See, as you watch me run around my little island here, um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you must be feeling pretty envious of how amazing my particular island looks. It's amazing, of course. However, despite all of my time traveling efforts and as much as I proudly cheat in this game, I want to make perfectly clear the fact that in my island, I actually have made relatively small progress compared to other people who don't time travel and have just made significantly more uh, progress in their islands than, than, than I have. I mean, I was able to uh, construct some inclines and move around a few properties, uh, purchase some bridges, but like in turn, actually, okay, first of all, look, look at this shit here, man. 168,000 bells to pay for the bridge before the construction even begins. That is absolutely ridiculous. And like, I mean, I get that, you know, you're supposed to like play it throughout the year and shit, but like, I'm, I'm not gonna do this, okay? It takes it takes too long to build up that type of, that type of money, uh, in my opinion. And this is literally what I use it for. I just paid it off, the entire thing in full, 168,000 bells. And you know, my bridge is gonna get constructed for tomorrow. This, there's no harm in that. And I don't wanna fucking wait, uh, what, weeks for me to, 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 to build up that type of money? 168,000 for one fucking bridge? No, I'm not gonna fucking do that, man. Look, I just, I just, I just planted this property right here. Everything I'm doing is already paid for in full. And that's basically what I am time traveling for. I mean, in terms of purchasable items, I basically don't have anything. I don't have any furniture. My house is basically empty. I did show my house around um, in my previous video. And again, I, I, I basically don't have anything. The only reason I do this, and not, not that I'm knocking any other reason for doing it, but basically the only reason why I time travel is so I can bypass all of these, all of these, uh, like I said, features that I just find, you know, an absolute hassle to have to tolerate. Basically, I just want to get around all of the tedious, nonsense, bullshit that the game forces you to do in order to continue progressing in your island. Again, I, I play this game to create, to bring to fruition the visions that I have of my village or island or what have you. And so, I can't fucking do that when Tom is charging me uh, $368,000 for a fucking expansion to my house. I'm not going to do that bullshit. I mean, you feel free to do it if you want to, but this is exactly what I mean by saying that I, I do this to just bypass the, the unnecessary shit that I genuinely feel is just entirely irrelevant when it comes to my overall enjoyment of this game. By the way, in case anyone was wondering, I have actually never been on this island before. I'm assuming this is what people call Tarantula Island uh, because I was a shit ton of tarantulas. However, um, I'm currently looking for rare villagers since it seems like this is something people are currently doing. And actually, I do have one slot open uh, left. So I do want to make this a good villager. I want something, you know, maybe, maybe an octopus. It seems like people are looking for. So why not? In any case, that's why I went on these two random trips here. And as you can obviously tell, Elise here apparently is not a random villager. 
And so I'm getting the fuck up out of here since there is nothing to do. That being said, I want to now just quickly wrap up my thoughts on the point I was making earlier and say that this video is actually also intended to demonstrate what a normal play session for me is. And I want to demonstrate that so that people can see how in spite of my time traveling, regardless of how much I cheat in this game, I am not rushing through it as many people assume time travelers do. The fact is, I am taking my time with the game. I am enjoying this game in its entirety. And so overall, this argument that people make in which they claim that time traveling will ruin your experience the, with the game by helping you progress through quickly through it. I just want to again solidify the fact that it just isn't true. It just isn't. It just isn't true. I mean, again, you can see my island. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's. I mean, it, I forgot. It, it's amazing, but it's not. You know, uh, as developed as other people have their islands. And so I'm basically behind everyone else. And that's just the point that I'm trying to look at this fucking bridge. Okay, first of all, look. I I, I already leapt into the future. I'm one day ahead. You just saw me do it. My bridge is done. My my property there is done. Homeboy right here is selling me some 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 shrubs, some what are they called? Bushes. And it's just all good, man. I moved a bridge. I added a new property. Uh what else did I do, man? Oh yeah, this fucking little plaza here. I forgot about this shit while I was ranting. Alright, so look at my plaza, man. Look at it. It's amazing. It's nice. Okay, I'm planting my bushes. But this is my overall point. This is what I use time traveling for, to just create, to just bypass the, the petty bullshit that they make you do and just create a beautiful fucking island. That is what this game is about. And that, that is how I enjoy to play it. I'm not rushing through the game. I'm not ruining my experience. In fact, I'm only enhancing my experience in doing this. And so the reason for this video again was to just quickly disprove that narrative that time travelers rush through the game too quickly and it just isn't true again i'm i'm far behind you if you're watching and so that's just the end of the discussion time traveling is fine and it doesn't ruin your experience and if you made it this far thank you again for watching i really do appreciate it give me your thoughts in the comments Mwah.